Hello again, Sparky here from SparkyUOnline.com. Okay, this here's my hole that I've been hanging out in recently and trying to trace out all these pipes, as you can tell, can be quite the nightmare. Uh, back over here is the main panel, the main home run to the uh, kitchen panel. But there's old duck work laying up in here and just years and years of shit that these people have uh, gone up and, and changed. There's gas lines up here, condensate lines, refrigeration lines, uh, plastic water lines. I think that is a uh, condensate drain line. I think that one is too. But there's just all kinds of crap up here. Uh, the good thing about this is the type of roof that it is. This is this attic's not that hot. It's just uh, it's just a real pain in the ass. I'm really getting freaking tired of climbing through it. But um, here's one of my main home run J boxes here that goes out and feeds into a dining room. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six condo that's coming into it that's actually the home run right there and you got this little Romex jumper and <laughs> funny thing about that Romex jumper is it actually is being fed from another panel so this would be uh, panel A and this is being fed from panel B into this lighting so I've got a single phase panel with uh, six home run circuits and two neutrals and there is only one of the circuits that ties off with that neutral right there okay all the rest of the neutrals are all tied under the one remaining neutral left from my home run and uh, this this really is a nightmare I believe this one here um, this one here goes down to my light switch so there's not a neutral in that one but uh, at one point in time, somebody got up there and decided they wanted to do some changing around of uh, switch legs and everything. Uh, this particular home run here has uh, a sign on it, has some exterior lighting on it, has some dining room lighting on it, and it's fed off of a breaker. Now that first J-Box that I showed you in um, the other video about the, the back door lights, uh, or the, re the rewire of the J-Box um, that was actually tied in at the main panel back there and comes up and feeds some of this crap up here uh, needless to say none of the phasing is right but um, I've got five or six different switch legs in here going in various different locations and that's just another view of the disaster that's up there and the conditions I got to work up against. I mean, I got condos going across here, and uh, I do uh, get in here, and I'm able to shut the power down for a few hours anyway, and and get into this box before I start messing with it too much. But um, as you can see there, there's uh, condos just all over the freaking place up, up there in that attic. That uh, there's wires that are just cut and hanging loose, and you know, I haven't traced them all down yet. I still got a long ways to go on this project. Okay, just a picture of that Romex going through in there. And I'm not really sure if that's overheating or if it's uh, just deterioration from, from the age of the building. I'm, I'm thinking it's overheating because of those neutrals all being tied together. I'm not really sure at this point. Um, if you take a look right about there, though, kind of take a look at the discoloration of that wiring. Two of those wires when I pulled them apart were actually the insulation was fused together and when I pulled them apart it actually stripped that insulation back. Um, not enough to go down to the copper but um, still enough to to know that this stuff is all getting overheated. Okay now here's the other end of that Romex. It goes down and feeds down into another panel down here and as you can tell um, over the years people have added more crap in here and this is actually a 10 to going out and feeding a freezer so this will all get changed out and um, the way they got this some of the stuff is just fed in here and it's just they doubled up on the boxes and they've doubled up on these pipes um, it, none of these neutrals are correct and it's just a matter of ripping all this stuff out and starting all over 
some of it I have to uh, keep up and running at this point because um, I can't close them down but um, once I get the knowledge of where all the boxes go and, and what it's going to take to rewire it then that's basically what we're going to be doing okay this is just another picture of that coming in and this is this uh, red wire goes down into a breaker off of panel B and this Romax goes over and feeds into a switch leg off of panel A and that neutral and panel A's neutral is all tied together so um, fun times at Ridgemont High here but you take a look at this here and you know, I pulled the plates off this, and I'm thinking that this is some overheating in here. And um, you can see it down through there, right in through there. Like I said, it's not that hot up in the attic, so I don't think it's coming from the heat of the the, the attic itself. It's discoloring that. And anybody's got any great ideas on this, you know, go ahead and pop them in there. Um, this is one of the messiest places that I've been in before but um, I'll get it all straightened out. You can see here uh, they got a, a neutral and then they've got a gray wire that they're using as switch leg. So it's pretty much a nightmare when you get four or five of those in the same conduit. So you got like this white one and this gray one goes through. Okay, that's these two here and then it goes down in through here. When I get into one of the other J boxes that looks like this mess you know it's it's it gets pretty difficult to try and trace all that crap out so um, you know, back into this one here and their idea of grounding the the J box I don't know just years of crap you know then that one there that that looks pretty damn bad up through here so all this is going to be getting ripped out and, and rewired so that's just back to my hole there. Anyway, as you can tell, that's uh, one of the many boxes and the great times that I'm having up there getting this straightened out. And the only thing I can say about it every time I get up there and I bitch and complain about it is, hey, at least I'm working. I'm getting paid good for it. And, um, you know, it's really not that bad. I work in there when they're closed down and nobody's there to bother me. I just crank on the radio, got myself a little fan up there in the attic. And, um, you know, I just go to town, get stuff straightened out, and you got to do what you got to do to make a living, and uh, you got to do what you got to do to get these kind of messes straightened out. And um, I wish I could just go in there and close the place down for a week and just rip all this stuff down, take all the light fixtures down, and just re-pull everything, but I don't have that option. Uh, the only option I have is a few hours a day trying to go in and get everything straightened out. Um, once again before I change those those main panels so anyway this is the last one I'm going to do for the day hope you guys have a great day talk to you later bye